This is my 2001 CBR FY stunt bike build. So up front, we are running the Dunlop Q5S front tire. I saw Jason Britton run this, so I'm just gonna try it out. I haven't spent a lot of time on it yet, so I can't give you good feedback on whether or not I, I like it. I know a lot of people run the Michelin 2 CTs, um, so that might be something I'll jump to if uh, this one doesn't work out. For rotors, we're running the EBC V rotors. For the front calipers, stock calipers, I just clean them, and then I'm running stock OEM Honda pads in there nothing special and that's all tied together with some ATL stainless steel brake lines so on the front end here I'm running seal savers to protect my fork seals I took off the uh, OEM protectors that were there suspension wise this is a completely stock front end besides a different triple tree but the fork tubes uh, nothing done to them stock uh, springs fork oil all the same I just re-leveled them I think they were lowered a little bit in front but nothing nothing special in the front end here whatsoever no conversions all OEM so for the bar setup we are running Renthal grips uh, I have a RSC two finger clutch lever and then for the handbrake setup I have a Brembo 16 by 18 master cylinder on the right side I'm running the CBR 1000 double R throttle housing with a stock F4i throttle tube, the Renthal grip again, and then I have stock F4i throttle cables. And then for the front brakes here, we have the Brembo 19 RCS master cylinder. Uh, some more tape on the lever. I like doing this just to give you some more grip there. And then I have my ATL stainless steel brake lines going to the, the front brakes. For the triple tree, we are running the SS Moto triple tree for the F4i. Uh, I went with the offset risers, so this pushes the bars up a little more forward. Uh, it kind of clears your forks here and uh, gives you a little more room when you're on the tank to, to pull your legs in and out. This triple tree is really nice because you get to tuck your reservoirs up underneath so they're not up on the bars where you can kick them off. They're nice and tucked out of the way. Um, there's a little screw here that kind of closes this compartment. That's usually where you would pop that off and access your reservoirs uh, without having to take them out. But because of the offset risers, uh, it's a little tough to get to. So you can just put the screw in and then just by hand tighten this and screw the little piece in here that keeps these locked in underneath but those this triple tree is really nice for that it keeps everything nice and clean and tucked away for the handlebars I'm running the pro taper contour Carmichael Ben bars and I run them very far push forward they're they're way past plus two for the radiator it's an OEM radiator with a Curtis cages radiator cage and I'm also running a six shop high pressure radiator cap I've also got a second radiator fan on this radiator it is an R6 fan that that is tied to the switch panel on the accessory button so I can flip it on as needed. I've also got the clean air mod done to this bike. I've made the uh, video for that so you can see how to do that as well if you need to do that still. This tank was built by Wonk333 Designs. It is a flat top bull hybrid tank and I have the HT Moto on the top and Raptor on the sides as well. I also have the Six Shop quick fuel disconnect on this tank. I've already made an install video on that so you know how convenient that part is to have on here. I'm running the Switch Styles airbox mounted switch panel. This thing's amazing. It's got start stop, ignition with kill, and dual accessories. I've got the uh, R6 fan on one up here, and I also have my idle adjuster sticking out here. I'm running the Cox Stump Parts Pro Series FRI cage. It's a nice, sleek design, compact. I've done a couple test drops already, and your rear sets don't touch. It, it protects the bike completely. Nothing touches the ground when you drop the bike with this cage on it. Internally, I've got the Griffey Star set to six degrees for oil. I have no oil pickup mod or anything done like that. I just overfilled it to four quarts. For the rear sets, I'm running the SS Moto rear sets. Uh, I kept the heel guard on and this is an OEM foot brake lever, but I powder coated them to try and match the frame as much as possible. This foot brake lever, I adjusted down a little more so it has my foot at a better angle. OEM master, but I just have an HEL stainless steel brake line for this foot brake. So this is just a Micron exhaust. This is what came on the bike when I bought it. All I did was cut it down about eight inches uh, just so it wasn't sticking out way past like 12 o'clock and scraping everywhere on the back end here I have the SS moto handbrake kit for a big rotor so I've got the 310 millimeter rotor and a triple caliper setup I have three r6 monoblock calipers uh, one for the foot brake two for the handbrake uh, there's OEM Yamaha pads and all the calipers and then for the lines HEL lines uh, the foot brake 
HEL line, the handbrake is an 80 inch line, and then a 14 inch jumper. For brake fluid and the rear brakes and the front brakes, it's Motul RBF 600 all around. And for the sub cage, I'm also running a Cox Stump Parts sub cage. It's a Euro style sub cage. All these sub cages fit the 01 to 03 FRIs for the split seat subframe. But because I switched this to a banana subframe, you have to get the banana subframe adapters on each side. Then you can run any of the Cox Stump Parts sub cages. And then for rear tire, of course, I'm running a Dunlop GPR 300. For rear suspension, it's all stock except for the shock link plates I changed. I put on the SS Moto Saggy Asfix. Um, they're those red plates down there. That basically stiffens up the rear suspension and raises the bike by a couple inches. Uh, it's supposed to make the rear end less bouncy when you're jumping around and whatnot. So for gearing, I'm running the giant 64 tooth sprocket in the rear. I went down a tooth to a 14 tooth in the front. And then I have a 525 chain. It should be around like 120 links or something for this setup. And then I have the Cox Stunt Parts Shark Fin or Finger Saver, whichever one you want to call it. And that's just riv nutted up into the swing arm. Again, SS Moto rear set here as well. So this is a 2001 FRI and normally it comes with the split seat subframe, but I traded it for a banana seat subframe. So I got the new battery tray, the new subframe and the new seat. Uh, this subframe I modified, I cut off about two to three inches off the end here. And then to protect the subframe and my seat, I put a Cox Stunt Parts one o'clock plate on as well. Uh, this stunt seat is made by Bella Stunt Seats here in the suburbs of Chicago. Uh, they did a killer job on this. Uh, you just pick the color stitching you want and then everything else is kind of how they do it. They use a really stiff foam here to give you a nice build up. Uh, it really locks you in and then you have a nice strong foothold here. They offer a stiffer foam if you want it now too but this original option is does a pretty good job as well. This is my poor attempt at the Mike Jensen mod. I have to fix this but essentially there should be a piece of wood that's long enough to touch the bottom of your seat here and it'll act like a bracket so when you're jumping around all the time um, the seat support and you won't crack it. I'm also running screws through the subframe through the seat bracket and then with a nut on the other side to keep the seat latched in so it's locked in here for sure and it's locked in on the seat latch in the back so this thing isn't going to fly off anywhere. For wiring most of the front end of the harness has just been tucked up into the frame here. In terms of sensors I bypassed the tip sensor up front. The ignition and kill switch has been removed and replaced with the switch styles panel and then I left the kickstand sensor intact uh, in case of an emergency so if like the bike tips over or I get caught somewhere you can just swing the kickstand down and it'll shut the bike off and then for the speedometer I just zip tied it to my cage here um, that way I can see temps rpm you know any error codes that are going on thanks for watching the reveal video for my 2001 CBR FRI stunt bike build this is going to cap off the build series uh, for this bike I will do a more detailed video where I break down every single part I chose, why I chose it, and what its purpose is. This was more just to showcase all the parts that I put on the bike and kind of bring together the whole build series.